Hi folks and welcome back to HRD TV. I'm Carrie and this is your go-to channel where we empower individuals and organizations to amplify their impact. Today we are talking about a topic that touches every office and workplace. Those common things that you might want to say at work but you shouldn't and how you might phrase them to make sure that you keep your relationships intact. So let's dive into it. Number one, do you have a coworker who doesn't like to listen or read your emails thoroughly? Instead of saying, like I said before, you can say, as previously mentioned, or to reiterate, this helps them to understand the continuity of your thoughts and reinforces important information without sounding confrontational. Number two, have you ever been in a meeting where a proposal just doesn't seem to add up? Instead of saying, this doesn't make any sense, you can say, can you help me understand this better? Or I'm having some difficulty seeing how this aligns with our goals. This encourages a constructive dialogue, inviting clarification and ensuring alignment with organizational goals. Number three, have you ever been in a situation where someone proposes an idea that seems unfeasible or poorly thought out? Instead of saying, this is a dumb idea, you can say, I think there might be another approach to consider. Or can we explore alternative solutions? This fosters a creative and inclusive environment where new ideas are explored rather than shut down. Number four, have you ever been assigned a task that doesn't play to your strengths or your interests? Instead of saying, I don't want to do this, you can say, I believe that my skills might be better utilized in a different area. Or can we discuss some other potential responsibilities that I might take on? This helps to communicate your desire to contribute more effectively, suggesting a more suitable role that aligns with your strengths. Number five, what can you say if you're asked to handle something outside of your job description? Instead of saying, that's not my job, you can say, I think this task might be better suited for another department or person. Or you might say, is this task typically a part of my responsibilities? This clarifies your role and boundaries professionally while guiding how tasks might be more appropriately assigned. Number six, have you ever been in a situation where a past warning you gave was ignored? Instead of saying, I told you so, you can say, it appears that our initial concerns might have been valid. Let's see how we might be able to move forward together. This helps to shift the focus from blame to learning and collaboration, fostering a forward thinking approach to problem solving. Number seven, do you ever feel like your contributions or suggestions are overlooked? Instead of saying, you never listen to me, you can say, I feel like my previous suggestions may have not been fully considered. Could we revisit them? This encourages revisiting potentially valuable ideas and emphasizes the importance of including diverse perspectives in decision making. Number eight, do you ever have reoccurring frustrations or inefficiencies with your workflow? Instead of saying, I'm sick of this, you can say, I'm finding this challenging and would appreciate discussing some possible changes. This opens the door to constructive changes and problem solving rather than just expressing frustration, which can lead to productive adjustments. I know that sometimes these scenarios are extremely hard and sometimes we wanna say things that we know we shouldn't say, but I hope that you found this video helpful in giving you some alternative ways to say the same thing, but just in a way that keeps the relationships that you're developing um, intact. I hope that you found this video to be helpful and if you liked it, make sure you comment and subscribe and we will see you on the next one.